these are supposed to be 7.1 surround sound and I will be testing them out to make sure they are 7.1 surround sound they should be plug and play it says RGB light effect that's what it says on there noise cancellation microphone unique headband design ok so we'll, with that let's get out of the box don't forget, as always, I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check them out. And uh, with that, let's get open, your key. I'm trying, I'm trying. Right, so. Yeah, it's 7.1 surround sound. Oops. Headphones. We like headphones. So instructions, they should be plug and play, but you should always read the manual. It does help. Mm, where are they? That's there. Right. Oh. Oh, that's different. It did say unique design, didn't it? Yeah, that's very different. Now then, how does that work? Pull up and down. I don't know. Don't know. It doesn't seem to do anything. What's that do? <laughs> it's like some sort of robot. Where's your microphone now? It's around here. That's weird. Oh. Oh, that is weird. But do adjust. Do that again. Move that out of the way. That's better. How's that? Doesn't block out all the sound. Might lead to sweatiness. I'm not too sure about the padding yet. Like the green logo, that looks very nice. And a bit of silver, left and right on the sides. Very nice. Nice big microphone. And when the microphone breaks, or if it breaks, that'd be the end of it, because it looks like you can't replace it. Hopefully it won't break. I feel comfortable. Yeah, give them that. Let's have a look at the controls. So we have, uh, oh, light on and light off. That's what, it's, that's what it looks like. It's a picture of a light, so I'm guessing that's what it does. We have a dial, that might be for your volume control, I'm guessing it probably is. And we have on off switch for your microphone. And I will have a measure up of the cable right now, I'll tell you the length, and then we'll give it a test. See how good, see how good the quality of audio is. Oh, gold connection USB by the way, so for better connectivity. Yeah, I'm going to give it a test once I've made you do that. Give me a second. Get in there. Ah, you see me. Knew I was there. How many I get? How many kills? Oh, I've got three kills. Right, surround sound. Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say whether it's working or not. It, I can hear surround sound, but very difficult to find out whether someone coming up behind you or in front of you, or to the left or to the right. Comfort wise, they're not bad. I'll stick with this one, I think. Yes, get in there, baby. Got the winning kill. Right, I've turned the lights off just so you can see the RGB properly. So the mic or the sound quality might sort of go a bit on the quiet side as I move around the headset. So you have RGB on this bend here on both headsets or both earpieces, as you can see. Uh, also on the inner pad, or the outer pad I should say, not the inner, inner, inner pad. See that? Looks very nice. 
does change colours as you can see, hopefully. See that? But as far as I know, you can't control it. It is set as far as I know from what I've seen on the software. The software only does the audio but there you go. On the microphone there's also a bit of RGB and that just stays all green. And I'm wondering, because I never noticed, because there's RGB on here as well, that should you turn the RGB off or the mic, sorry, if you mute mute the mic, will that go off? But you can turn the RGB off at a press of a button or turn it on again, as you can see. Right. So give me a second. I'm going to turn the lights back on. And then I'm going to tell you what I think about it. If you want to hear surround sound while you're playing games or listening to music or even you know, going on YouTube and playing a test demo, something like that, you know, for surround sound, if you want to hear the full effect of these, you need to install the software because otherwise you would just get them in stereo, okay? And when I tested them first, I didn't install the software. Silly mistake, but these things happen. So go to the website, select these headphones. These are the 65s or whatever headphones you've got with this company. Highlight the support and it will show you download. Click on downloads. Download the second one, not the first one because the first one don't work, but download the second one where it says one or two click on the download for the second one install the software you need to select 7.1 so find that on the speaker thing right click on the speaker uh, on the software that is right click on the speaker select 7.1 and away you go and there's loads of other different settings in there as well to play about with now then my verdict let me know in the comments what you think you want a verdict in 7.1 surround sound but <laughs> Be interested in finding out whether you like them or like the look of them. Now then, let's talk about it. They do get a bit warm. They do get a little bit on the sweaty side, but but they are very comfortable. I'm quite impressed with the comfort of these. They're yeah, very comfortable. I like the way they you know, fit your head. Again, very comfortable. Uh, microphone is very good. Nice and clear, as you can hear, hopefully. Yeah, nice and clear. No issue with that whatsoever. Quite adjustable. The only downside is you can't replace it if it breaks. Okay, you just buy a new headset. 7.1. Now, I wasn't expecting it to be fantastic because it's only a virtual 7.1, but it's very good. Yeah, I was quite impressed actually. Like I said, you need the software for it to work though. Yeah, very good. I've done Dolby Atmos. And, you know, it, you can hear it going around, you know, nothing. actually, it works pretty well. I was quite impressed, considering it's not real, or it's a virtual surround sound, it does give you a very good impression of it working. CSGO, I played that, as you see, and, yeah, again, it works okay, providing you've got the software. Now, CSGO is only 5.1 surround sound, but it does give you a very good impression. At first, I tried it without the software, and I thought, no, uh, it's not really working for me. Installed the software. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I let you off. That was good. <laughs> and I, I started doing a bit of killing as well. Quite enjoyed that. Yeah, so quite, uh, quite a bit of difference between having stereo and then going to virtual. Definitely gives you a better impression of people coming up behind you. It's not perfect. But it's pretty good considering the amount these cost. And uh, it's a virtual, not a real one. RGB, again, I like. No issues with that whatsoever. I do like the RGB and the controller. Uh, dare I say it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's very good. It's got easy controls on it with the, you know, click on mute. Turn it back on again. Yeah, very good. Uh, controls very easy and if you want to turn the RGB off which one is it that one yeah very easy to do music if you're into a bit of music love the bass on this bass brilliant yeah very good quite impressed how good the bass is so the whole package <laughs> it gets my thumbs up 
like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as what they are for the amount of money they cost. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think. I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check them out. I'll also stick a link into the actual website if you want to go there, okay? Or if you want to buy them, it's up to you. So uh, with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Better do some more gaming, I suppose. <laughs>